comic book fans, it is a Monday night. It is the price of variants. And as usual, Alan has been digging around into the in the heritage files. And this week he's um, come up with a theme. He's gone for really high grade comics. So we had a 9.8 of the Jungle Book on Alan's channel. You need to go over there and um, and look at that. So we're looking at high grades um, and seeing how they're performing in this tough market. Right. Enough from me. And um, we're going to share my screen. And uh, there we go. And the first one we're looking at here, Alan, tell us about this comic. Again, not a key comic uh, for the most part. It's just it's a cool battle cover between uh, Iron Man and the Hulk, though. It is. Um, and it's a 9-8 white pager. <laughs> so uh, I believe this is top of the census as well. Yeah. Um, so George Iron Tusk Man 9. George Tusk. Sub 10 Iron Man. Mandarin and Hulk robot appear. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just a you know, cool cover. Nice looking cover. No, not one that I'm super familiar with, okay. but um, I can't say but... I've ever a copy of this. And uh, we've rented, we're over a thousand dollars now, Alan. Um, uh, fourteen forty. So yeah, it's a big, it's a big, big sale here. So um, but yeah. how well did it perform? I have a feel. Okay, let's yes, we we've been guessing the census on these books. Yeah, I'm going to guess thirty copies. Yeah, um, I think this is pretty. Oh, I'm not sure it's as high as that. I'm going to go twenty. I'm going to okay, go. let's see who's who's right on this one. Fifteen. 15. I'm closer. Oh, you did better. You're better. You're so far. You're batting way <laughs> better than me. <laughs> I think you you've been time. right. Let's have a see how this is done. I think it's come down, Alan. Ooh, it has. Ooh, it's. It really never had a bump, though. If it, you actually look at it, mm, it's been just consistently not doing that well. Okay. <laughs> Its heyday was back in May 2012 for some reason. Did we have some Iron Man films then? Oh, you know why? Um, in the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Endgame? Yeah. Or is it Endgame? Or one of those two. Uh, Hulk actually fights Iron Man. Ah, Do you remember right. that scene? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, right. and that's well, where they introduced uh, the Hulk Smasher costume, right? Yeah, so can I just come down? Over the last 10 years, from 4,100 to 1,400. Again, it's lost 60 to 70% of its value over 10 years. This wasn't a good investment back in 2012, Alan. No, not it did really horribly, actually. Um, and there's 15 of these on the census. So that's that's always a problem when you're not, when you, when people can just sort of say, well, I can wait for the next copy to come up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I mean it's not that many. It, I mean that's not a huge number, is it? I mean, it would not. Talk but it sell. You can see the number of sales. I mean, with some of the books we looked at on my list, uh, they would be one of one sales because you just yeah. don't see it that often. So you're going to get a lot more FOMO effect. Whereas this one sells reasonably frequently, where people can say, "Okay, that price is a bit much." I wonder if this is the time yeah. to buy something like this. Oh, those are the nine six. What did the nine six go for? Four hundred and something. Which, uh, given that the oh. fourteen hundred, that's pretty good, isn't it? Because this should be about yeah. 400. Well, it should be around. So the nine six is actually a good price, yeah. or the nine eight is overpriced. Yeah, one of the two. Maybe it's yeah. I mean, it's one of the two. Yeah. 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 Mm, interesting. Right. <laughs> No, I don't collect Iron Man, so I won't be going out and buying this. Um, but it's interesting to look at. Yeah, right. interesting one. Okay, what have we got next? Oh, an Avengers. We're up to two thousand dollars now. This is a yep, this is Avengers. None of these are Pence copies, Alan. Avenger Avengers number twenty four. No Pence covers. Sorry. Um, and what does it say? Something yes. appearance. It says um, White Pages, Stan Lee's story, Don Heck and Dick Ayers art, oh, Jack Kirby and Wally Wood cover. Kang appearance. Uh, Kang appearance. Okay, so not too bad. Nice cover. It's I like kind of it. A, I like the cover. You know, it's, I like when you see lots of characters on the cover like this. And yeah, this is like sort of that typical Avengers thing where they're like they, they sort of 
team up like in that little ball, you know, that little formation, and they have all the bad guys attacking them from all angles. That's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, quite like that one. And it's a bit pricey though. Yeah, two thousand four, uh, a nine eight of Avengers twenty four one six zero. It's two one six zero. I have a feeling this would be down. Would be my guess. We should have guessed the census, yeah, but yeah, it's twenty one. Uh, oh, actually, it kind no, of popped it's, back it's up a, a bit. Bounce. So yeah, it's got a little bit of bounce. Little uh, bit. What was that peak way back when? So it was a strange peak in August twenty August two thousand and nine when it peaked at four thousand dollars. Is that truly the peak, or is that the adjusted price? Uh, um, oh no, there it goes. Um, two eight six eight. Two eight six eight. So it's almost down, like, like forty percent. No, twenty yeah. percent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, forty percent. Although you could claim this that one sale was an outlier, you know. If you ignore... yeah, I mean, it's really actually, if you ignore that one sale, yeah, this is actually a strong sale for this book. It is a strong sale for this book. I'd say it still is a strong sale. It's a, it's a on... lot. It's a lot higher than the previous three or four sales. So, yeah, um, that is a strong sale. You, I mean, if if you if I was looking at this, I'd say that sale there's an outlier. There's an outlier. Oh, this one's and an this one's even maybe an outlier too. It's just yeah. for a different reason. Um, so yeah, so uh, that's a that's an interesting one. How many on the census? Um, there are a total of. Um, oh, scroll up. yeah, 778. So, not that many, and then there's 21 nine eights, yeah, not many of those either, yeah. So, um, interesting. So, uh, yeah, I think well, actually, let's I always like to look at the nine six and then use the doubling kind of rule to see if it's a good sale or a bad sale. Uh, I think that's an outlier. Because the nine nine six is a fair market value is three hundred and seventy five dollars. So we were looking probably two to uh, no sorry um six to seven hundred probably. Yeah, and that just sold for two thousand. So that's more consistent with the previous sales. I think that's an outlying sale. So it's just a big sale for this book for this week. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I guess somebody <laughs> overpaid a bit. They got a little excited. Overpaid. Yeah, my advice on this one. If you want this, go and buy the 9.6 for $384. Yeah, you can press it and maybe get that 9.8. Well, um, in which case you've made yourself a $1,800 profit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I go and buy the, I definitely go and buy the 9.6 on this one. Mm. So, okay. So, we'll, I, I, I'd like to hear your opinion at the very end of all these uh, books, what you think about these high-end yeah. ones now i like but, this cover i have got a copy of this this uh, is not the highest grade on census it's okay. just the, so I, just so I, you know i know that this is not the highest grade on census but is, it is, is a it stunning cover polaris? second second polaris uh, yeah uh, second appearance of polaris mesmero appearance origin of the beast arnold Drake. but it's just a it's a it's classic Franco cover, cover. yeah x-men 50 as well yeah. So it's like it's got a bunch of things like more on the classic cover, classic. Um, why is uh, why is Steranko doing Kirby Crackle? I have no idea. Also, I, I'm not sure, but I'm I'm thinking is this the the time when they tr change the trade dress? Um, I'm it's... not sure what 49 looks like compared to 50 in terms of the trade dress. Where the X Men is now at an angle and kind of looks a little different. Oh, do you know what I mean? New X Men logo. You're right. New X Men logo. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Well remembered. Yeah. So I like this. I've got a copy of this. Not, not in. Yeah. A... So do I. But not, not a 9 6. No. <laughs> uh, um, Jim Steranko cover. $3,000. $3,000. Right. I mean, that's that's a cover buy. Yeah. I, like, oh, yeah, really, it's a great cover. yeah. Great cover. Right. So. Mm -hmm. at, up, down, left, right. I'm going to guess down only because I know that this book kind of went super hot during the, the COVID time period because I had a friend that actually spent a fair amount of money on this book. <laughs> you know, and actually 
slightly lower grade. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I have a feeling this is down. Okay, my guess. I, I will go with your view that I think this will be down as well. So, um, nine six. The, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's down from the peak, but it's still significantly up from where it was. Wow, before. it's it's actually crazy up those overall. Uh, so before before COVID, this was an eight hundred dollar book. It peaked out at four thousand, and it's only dropped. This is going to go further down. Oh, it's got a ways to go back down. It's probably going to. I think it would probably go back to around a thousand dollar book. Mm. Would be. So uh, don't buy this one right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alan, Alan's advice and my advice on this one is don't touch this with a barge pole at three thousand dollars yeah i mean that's i would say that's three times over market fair market value yeah that is seriously That'd be... correction oh wow i'm surprised that it's still way up like that right so the nine eight then alan should be according to you should be about six seven thousand dollars yeah That'd be my guess. Oh, no. Oh, well, actually, the 9.8 eight. is performing really well. But yes, but it's not double the uh, 9.6. What's the 9.8 what's the at? I uh, can't five, see six. Oh, 5,600. Mm. So based on that, you'd expect it to be like 2,800. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so oh. not that far off. Not, not really far. that far off. So maybe the old 9.6 has got only a little bit full. Yeah. But I wouldn't touch it right now. I think, oh. I think that's oh, when you see that much of a spike, uh, I'd be look, really paranoid. Look, look at that. You expect that almost looks as if it's going to mirror that up, doesn't it? It's going to come. Yeah, down. it looks like it's it's like it's like oh, not so much, and then back down. <laughs> it's going to crash. Um, that's a great book, though. I mean, actually, at a thousand dollars, that wouldn't be a bad pickup. If you could get it for that, I yeah, I don't know if it's going to come back down to that, but yeah, um, this is a very cool book though. Okay, right. What do we got next? Oh, I don't know this one, Captain America, one hundred and eighteen. I'm not familiar with this one. This is another uh, Falcon one. Oh, I think oh. second appearance of Falcon or something like that would be my guess. Uh, second appearance of Falcon and Red Wing. Red Skull. Yeah, right. Excuse me. <clears throat> Letter from Steve Gerber. So, yeah. So, kind of a cool book for that reason. I'm not really a fan of the cover, to tell you the truth. I find it a little busy in, yeah. like, a weird way. Yeah. Um, my, grade, my grade, what we're doing, it fits you with your high grade thing, 9.8. White pages again. White so pages. Right. So, Alan. Let's do the competition on this one. How many nine? Okay. Eight, how many nine eights do you reckon? I'm gonna guess twenty. Seems like a lot of twenties out there. Yeah. Right? Um. I'm going. I'm going to go a bit lower. I'm going to say fifteen. I don't think this is a book that gets graded that much. So okay. You sent to twenty. I'm saying fifteen. Hopefully, I can be right for once. Four. Four. <laughs> We're both wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm closer again, though. <laughs> I, I, I seem to be failing consistently on these. Uh, so don't take my advice, people, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, it it uh, is up, however, from the last It is time. up, actually. It's it's quite, it's actually, I think it's just it hasn't had a sale. <laughs> well, you know, done, if there's only four copies. Yeah, it hasn't had a sale often. for eight years. Yeah. So, yeah, this one didn't experience the COVID bump. Um so this is uh, wh what was the previous sale like? What was the previous record? I can't well, quite see the numbers. Uh, previous sale was in twenty fifteen for one thousand eight hundred and seventy eight, and now it's selling for three thousand four hundred. Yeah, so that's okay. So that's a pretty good uh, increase, I would say. Yeah. What does the nine six go for? And kind of that that's my way of sort of judging. If these you know these books are in what you'd expect them to be, I would expect a nine six to be about fifteen or sixteen. Fifteen hundred, yeah, sixteen, seventeen, maybe. Oh. oh wow, look at this! This one had a crazy ride. Uh oh yeah, so this went this, uh yeah, so four hundred and thirty dollars in twenty eighteen, and it's up to two thousand dollars. 
So this, this is, would actually be this comic did quite actually, well. Uh, that would actually suggest this one should be around four thousand dollars. Yeah. So even with the up, it's probably slightly down. Like oh, yeah. not, not oh, slightly wait a minute, off, no, no, uh, with, Let's just look at the dates on this. This sale of two thousand dollars was in middle of COVID. It was September twenty twenty one. Oh, okay. It hasn't so been a sale since. Yeah, that's the sort of peak COVID. Like yeah. August, September were kind yeah. of the peak months. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think you can use that. So here's the question, though, um, and I think I, I think I know the answer. Like, why is this book up? Uh, like, it is actually up. We can say, you know, looking at it, it's up. Oh, it's is up it over because, eight years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it up because uh, Falcon is the new Captain America? Possibly. Right. You know, uh, and there is going to be a new Captain America movie. Yeah. So could be that, you know, all that excitement still there. Yeah. And people usually gravitate to the second appearances after the first appearances become too expensive. So there's a green label for sale here. No, no green label. But is it signed? Is that why it's green? Hundred dollars. Why is it? Why is this only a hundred dollars? What is wrong with it? Cover detached from bottom staple. Okay. Okay. Why haven't they just reduced the grade then? Why have they given it a green label? Uh, because you can usually get like um. You can get like when it's like the staple detached thing, uh, it would grade out at like a two or something like that, like um, like actually probably a three, right? Um, so what sounds better, a nine zero or a three? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's a three. I want it to call it. Yeah. A, so either a three blue label or a nine zero green label. But it presents like way better than a three, three right? Yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah, it's probably like you know really solid co a comic. But um, so who decides to that do that then? Who who why? So that that's the uh, the the one that submits it says you know you know which would you rather and they'll they'll give them that option. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, interesting. Right, next up. And oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorite. Okay, this is not top of the census, but it was just a really big sale. And it is close to that. It is what I would consider an investment grade for this book because it is it is a really high grade. And again, you get John Buscema with one of his best covers in my view. Yeah, this is a, I would say this is a classic cover. Um, it's been homaged many times. Yeah. Um, and it is, it is really cool. Actually, the funny thing is, this is actually an homage cover as well. You've told me this before, yeah. Yeah, it's actually uh, it was from a, a it was uh, from a splash page of the original vision from the Golden Age. Okay. But you know, it's a great cover. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just a beauty. A great I know this is down. I watched this one because um, I've got the Alan Class version of this, which is equally as fantastic, if not slightly better. But I would. Yeah, you were saying it because it goes out it yeah, zooms it's out a little wider. bit yeah it gets yeah. A, a bit wider and it has quite a good effect on the perspective so um yeah um yeah i think this is down um i'm gonna guess down half oh, actually yeah that's my guess that's my guess because i know that this book really took a no uh a, a beating <laughs> during after the vision uh oh of course yes after the wandavision stuff yeah wandavision thing yeah so nine six. Oh, oh we're, both, we're both wrong. Both wrong. <laughs> both wrong again. <laughs> but he, oh, I was right that it did take a beating, but it actually popped back up. This is actually back up it's, after that. Yeah, I mean, it's not far off that peak. It's not a record. Yeah, it's not far off. I'm actually, really that's quite interesting. That, and that that is extremely rare. To think of all the books we've looked at over the last few weeks. How many are just about holding at the peak? Yeah. And actually, it looks like, you know, it, there was a correction for this book. Like, you know, if you look at that yeah. that big drop. Yeah. But then it recovered, basically. Yeah. That's pretty that crazy. Is that, that, is, that just shows quality coming through, in my view. You know, this yeah, I mean, this great is great cover. That you know, people have gone. If it's come up cheap, people have gone. Oh, well, I'm going to, I'm going to grab that. I might as well pick the it up. The price yeah. has not dropped that much. Um, 
Interesting. Let's have a look at the... And there's 5,000 of these on the census. Yeah, no, it's not a rare comic. Um... And 9815, that seems to be a good number, like 15 yeah. to 20 <laughs> seems to be like the word. <laughs> well, that's 9-6. Let's have a look at 9-8. Nine, 9-8, eight. Nine, eight, I mean, I imagine it's much more. Um, oh, wow. The 9-8 is really dropped uh has one it's dropped here uh to 19,000 19,000 19,000 is about right yeah maybe yeah uh the, because it, you'd expect it around 18,000 right i mean that peak there at 37,000 ouch yeah i remember that actually i remember that sale and everyone was freaking out that was a big sale <laughs> uh well yes um unfortunately you've lost half your money so that's when i'm thinking of the you know where it dropped that, that the nine eight really shows it this nine six actually kind of did well you'd be you'd have been better off in the nine six and the nine eight here alan which is unusual yeah it is very strange i mean that's that's actually a, it's kind of a roller coaster but it's a very uh you know it's really maintained its value. Mm. So that's interesting, I think. Um, so what do you think of these investment grade books in general? Uh, I'm not sure what to think, actually. Usually I know what, I, I mean. Do they hold their value? Do you think, that, you know, is it worth spending that big money? Well, I, th I think. I think other than this Avengers one, the ones where we have got a trend, they're down after COVID again. Um, well, yeah, I mean, but uh, a lot of them, like when it's like very rare, they, they seem to do well. Do you know, like when I say very rare, it's one of one. Yeah. Those <laughs> books seem to do really well. Uh, the well, ones on, where there's... The first one we saw on your channel... I dropped half oh, his but that, yeah, that guy overspent. I think that's what happened. I think the guy overspent on the book and uh paid the price later. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh yeah. Um in general, I mean, as a generalization, what mm -hmm. we've generally seen is the rarer a comic, the more protected it's been from a fall. That's true. Yeah. Um, and if, yeah, if you only see it sell like once every five to six years, yeah, <laughs> you're pretty much guaranteed that it's going to go up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I think, um, that that's, yeah, that goes without saying, but, uh, it is the advantage uh, of holding one of ones is that, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a number one of ones because a number of my Alan classes that I've had slabbed are the only ones on the census. Yeah, uh, that's cool. I mean, that's when it's really cool when it's only one on the census. You can basically say, this is what it's worth. You know, you you decide as the owner what the value is, right? Yeah. yeah. So I quite like having one of ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think. But uh, yeah. yeah. So, so did you enjoy the list? I did actually. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that yeah. list. Okay, yeah, cool. I like it when we do I, some, I, you know, I wasn't mad keen last week where I had 14, 14 issues of <laughs> Well, I was of, trying to give you a comparison, right? The high grade versus the low grade. I was trying to do something different. I always try to change it up every week, you know, give you a little different things to play with. Um yeah, so Halloween next week, Alan. Um are you so gonna, I'll see if I can make a Halloween theme. Are you gonna we'll see. A, we'll see. Gonna, I'll see. Depends on what comes up on the market, right? Okay. I mean, there should be some stuff because it's Halloween, so people will be trying to sell their horror comics. Halloween-related books, yeah. yeah. And I don't think you've done a horror. I don't think you've done a horror Silver the Age. The problem is Silver Age, you don't really associate with horror. No, there's not a huge amount. There is a bit. There is a bit, yeah. but it's uh, not House in the major mystery, publishers. House, House of Mystery did run through the Silver Age and did have some horror in it when it wasn't doing Dial H for Hero. Yeah. Uh, you know and maybe some of the monster books would be yeah, in there as well the right marvel monsters yeah yeah there's some 19 you know end of silver age beginning of bronze you do get some uh monster books fear i think fear is 1969 1970 mm -hmm. so yeah it, it's but i agree with you there's not a huge amount of silver age um or, or yeah no that's more of a bronze age thing it is more of a bronze age thing yeah yeah. Mm. Okay. So, well, uh, thank you.
Bye for now. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. It's my show. <laughs> so it's your show. You say goodbye. That's, that's your lot. See you again soon. Okay. <laughs>